Natural snow has been scarce in the east early this season, so the snowmakers have had to get things started. Here at Sunday River in Maine, they opened on October 22nd, and they were the first resort in the country to do so. They've made snow here more than 20 days since then. They now have more open terrain than any resort in the east. Nighttime skiing and riding will resume here in a couple of weeks during Winterfest weekend from the 17th through the 19th. Much colder air in the wake of the midweek rain will allow the region's snowmakers to get busy. Ski Sundown will open as soon as they can. Mount Southington is targeting next Saturday as opening day. That's the day the lifts will turn at Butternut. Catamount's going to try and open this weekend. Call ahead to check. You'll be able to get some early season turns in this weekend at Jiminy Peak in the Berkshires. Gunstock in New Hampshire's back to making snow. They'll open soon. Wyndham in the Catskills has a good shot at getting the season underway Saturday. Gore Mountain in the Adirondacks is up and running. Mount Snow in Vermont has opened up a good variety of terrain and coverage is expanding at Okemo. Look for the trail count to jump up in the coming days at Killington. Persistent snow showers will help this weekend at Stowe and Jay Peak. Early season snow has been abundant at Jackson Hole, but Sun Valley and Telluride could use another storm. Brighton and Snowbird in Utah are in great shape for early December. Snowbirds already had 100 inches. Alts has also been blessed with abundant snow. Park City's looking good as we head toward the holidays. This weekend, the snow guns will be firing from Quebec to North Carolina, so don't forget your goggles. I'm Herb Stevens, a skiing weatherman.